Hey everyone, thank you so much for the responses to the first video. Very encouraging. Um, hesitation is what I wanted to speak about next. Here's something that I figured about hesitation. Not rocket science, but you observe and then you conclude. People don't hesitate because they think that they're incapable. People don't hesitate because they think they have low intent. People don't hesitate because they're lazy. All of these are just excuses that we give ourselves. I think hesitation has its source or genesis to something that's way more fundamental. And I boil it down to the fundamental distinction that humans have from animals. Humans have the ability to imagine. We as a species have the ability in our brains to vividly imagine what the future could be. To see, sitting today in the present, of how I could change it. Of how I could recreate or reimagine a completely new world from where I am sitting because I have the potential to do that. But at the same time, our brain is also designed, hardwired over billions of years to prevent us from danger, to stop us from doing anything that causes us harm, whether physical or now even emotional. So when you marry the two, you get this very strange situation emerge, which is you want to do something and you want to genuinely get it done, but your brain has the ability to imagine the future. And now you start imagining of all the things that could go right and all the things that could go wrong. And your brain now is going in overdrive mode. It's like, oh my God, here are the things that can go wrong. Don't do it. It'll cause you harm. So you're writing an email to Ankur Variku and then you suddenly hesitate because you imagine a scenario where you will send that email out with all your love and passion and he will never respond. And your brain's telling you the minute that happens, you will feel shitty about yourself. And don't do it because you don't want to feel shitty about yourself. It will cause you harm. So you hesitate. You don't think of the odds, whatever little they may be or however high they may be, off him actually replying back, or you actually getting the stuff done that you wanted to get done in the first place. So when you think about it, it's unfortunate and it's tragic that hesitation is the outcome of one of the most powerful things that we have as a human race, which is the ability to imagine, but our brains are designed in such a way that it lessens the impact of that. And my advice to all of you, which is what I follow every time in my life, is whenever you really want to get done something, whenever you want something to be done, something that you truly believe in, and you find yourself hesitating, think of all the possible scenarios that your brain is telling you that could go wrong, and repeat to yourself that I am okay with those things going wrong. I am okay with me writing this email and not getting a reply. It is not funny how many people I write to. I have this habit where I try to acknowledge almost everyone that I encounter or come across because their work has moved me. And I've written to so many people, but I've never heard back from a lot of them. And that's okay because my self-respect, my knowledge, what I learned from that is not pegged to them responding, nor is my future or my outcome pegged to that. But the fact that I wrote to them did something that I wanted to do without hesitation. So don't make hesitation the unfortunate outcome of the most powerful tool you have, which is the ability to imagine. Instead, make imagination the most powerful tool that you have and let that be the way that you tell your brain, I'm not gonna stop at anything. Until the next video, see you.